Paloma. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Forty-four. Ma'am, is CSA supposed to be here, ma'am? Because like it is a less class, but we have link for uh, DBMS and uh, Moodle. I didn't get you. Is CSA supposed to be here, ma'am? According to the timetable, it is life sciences class, but we have a uh, uh, DBMS link for nine to ten now. Uh, Actually, yeah. see, your timetable was changed, right? But still, Did that you know that print of like I, I don't think uh, DBMS should be there, ma'am, in timetable. Like, let me check. No, already it was updated. You can see uh, if you want in uh, Jila notes. So. The updated timetable you can see in Jila also. Okay, ma'am. Okay, it was changed long back. No, ma'am. Like when it was changed, still it was uh, less only, ma'am. Yeah, because see, they have already created and they got the option as recurring meetings. So it will be appear. The link will be appear. But you have to join to this class. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So today uh, I'll tell you the important concept because it helps you a lot while doing any projects and all. Because see, if we develop any application, even though if you are a good programmer also, you have to know the basics of SQL even. Because you should be in a position to connect the front end to the back end. Okay. So that is the concept as ODBC. JDBC. Let me share the syllabus first. So this is the concept we are going to tell about this ODBC and JDBC and this embedded SQL, it is nothing but if you embed this SQL in any of the code, then it is called as an embedded SQL. For this, I can say, it, uh, I can say this one is an example also because here in this concept, we will embed the SQL code in Java database connect. Okay, so at first I'll tell you about uh, which softwares are needed to execute this. Okay, let me. Yeah, everybody has Java, right? Everybody have Java software, right? So in the last semester, I think you read Java. I will not ask any kind of questions in Java. This is for sure. I will not ask anybody. Okay. Do you have the software or not? Mom, we had in second semester, mom. So what? That software will be there in your system, right? 
yes ma'am hmm. so java should be there and you have to install java eclipse java eclipse ma'am see remember java java eclipse and jdbc jar file note it down java java eclipse jdbc jar file o jdbc 14 dot jar file mom can you give a list in chat box mom after jdbc dot file jdbc uh, dot jar yeah i'm typing CS eight section students, uh, can you please check your timetable once again? Ma'am, that's what I'm saying, ma'am. We had no a for you. See, uh, previously you had uh, some elective subject, but the uh, the timetable coordinators they have changed and updated to me that today's class is for you, not for CS eight. Section eight students can. leave the meeting and you check with the cr once again i think uh, you might have another class not dbms okay ma'am you will not get the, the attendance if you are here also i cannot give you the attendance because it was showing uh, me to put the attendance for uh, k section Uh, actually, uh, I have downloaded all this from the net. Okay, I haven't saved uh, any of the links as well. You can also download it. It was easy. Maybe while downloading Java Eclipse, it may uh, the Oracle may ask you to create one account. So just create it and get it downloaded. and uh, i got the complaints from the faculty uh, from two faculty that student participants count is very less compared to all the other sections they were saying to me and they were just telling to me also that many of the students are joining late and they were even uh, 
noting the numbers also and they were just giving to me i said okay it will not happen for the next time so it's all you are wish now see if you have been joined at the time then maybe in the continuous assessment and everywhere okay they will cut the marks even they just look over into the attendance also that is what i am saying um Ma'am, can I share my screen once? Downloading. Yeah. For what? The, regarding the downloading process, ma'am. Can I share my screen? Wait a minute. Sir, and I gave the option. Mm, okay, one minute. Um, what am I supposed to download now from Eclipse? Eclipse ID. This one. This is for CRC. Eclipse, Sorry, right? this one. Come down. Okay. No, still drag it down. Like its ID is enough for Java developers or uh, Kanda and this one only, ma'am. From where you are downloading it? Uh, I got it from this website, and now this is the installer.
this this is the installation application mom if you launch it it will send you to this page okay and this only mom The icon is not matching because I have uh, I have downloaded this for Oracle. Mm. Then I don't know. Uh, wait a minute. Let me check from my end also. Let me download the latest version. Okay, mom. See, I'll show you the eclipse. Then get it download and install this one. Okay, what what you were downloading? Okay, after it was downloaded, you just install it so that you can see the home page, right? But you have to set the path even. See, this is not a simple task. You have to download many things and then executing. ODPC, JDPC program, it has some procedure. According to the steps wise, we have to follow and execute. So for that, I will share at first the PPT also, so that it may help you. Ma'am, one minute. No, this. JDPC, ODPC. Ma'am. Yes, yes, sir. And Chapandi. Will it be this one? Eclipse the ID for Java and DSL developers. Ha. Huh. Do it. Ma'am, this is only required. Ma'am, or or another software also we should install. Okay, it is. Only this now, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you.
I will tell you the procedure. See, anyhow, you will download it, right? I'll give the time. So, after you have downloaded all of this, then you should be in a position to write the program. But we have to embed the SQL code and then we have to execute. Remember one thing. Meanwhile, we have to run the SQL also. Otherwise, it will not get connected to that SQL. And actually, this JPC it is nothing but Java database connectivity, and ODBC is nothing but object database connectivity. So I can say like JDBC, it acts like a mediator bit from the the backend database. Okay. So application program interface it is Java API. See this is what this is the diagrammatic procedure. See here we have uh, the front end application, Java application, and it is the database. Whenever you will download all of this, automatically you will have the JDBC drivers. So it will be in place within this, this two. And It is going to handle what it will do is JDBC API. It will connect to the database from Java to the database. And see, in the new program, we'll write the Java code. Okay. And also, we will write, we will add, then we will connect it to the database. And after that, we are going to write some query. Okay. And finally, we'll get the result. So this is what all these things can be handled by the JDBC API, Application Program Interface. So we have many drivers. So JDBC, ODBC Bridge Driver, API Driver, Protocol Network Protocol Driver, and Thin Driver also. Among this, we are using JDBC, ODBC Bridge Driver. And this is a theoretical thing. Okay, so if they ask you to write for two marks, then you have to write the definition, put the definition, it acts. See, all the drivers also will be acts like a mediator in between the Java application to the database. Okay, there is no much difference. Okay, and I'll tell you about all of this. You will get bored otherwise. I'll show you the code. See, this is what the diagrammatic part of network protocol driver and this is a thin driver so there are many ways okay but we are using jdbc odbc bridge drivers and yes to execute this program we have five steps the first one is we have to register the driver class for that only one line of code is there that you have to put it in the file. Okay. And you have to create the connection. See, whatever uh, while installing, you, you will give some username and password, right? So that details you are going to give here to connect with your database. So create connection. And then we have to create a statement, a SQL statement. Okay. And then we have to for executing the query, we have to write uh, the code for what you are going to execute. Okay. And finally, we have to load the connection. So, while creating the connection, an object will be created. And with the object, with what object we have created the connection, with that object only, we have to close the connection. Okay. So, these are the five steps. Remember all of this. And this is the code. Okay. So class dot for name of Oracle JDBC driver. So this is the code. The first section code this was register the driver class. This is and for the second step, create the connection object. Yes, connection. And this is the object C O N. Okay and the driver manager dot get connection and remember here see 
this is what uh, this is the local host of your sql see uh, you have to type here the same username and password of your database okay of your sql software see while installing you will give some system as username system as password right so defaultly you will get the same system password like this and if you give the capital letters as the username then you have to retype the capital letters instead of this okay and even you have to type this otherwise it will not be get connected and even though if you write here okay if you haven't run the run sql code then it will not work it will not get connected to the database so this is what the two steps and the third one is for the statement object okay so statement object it is so for the statement again we have to create one one more object stm uh, this object names it should not be same as like here okay it's all you are wish you can create any of any uh, word as an object for the statement or for the connection okay it's not like you should you have to give the same c o n here and s t m t here no it's your wish but whatever you have given that you have to remember and with that only you have to again close the connection so this is what a uh, sql statement and coming to the execute the query part this is the fourth step we have to again here create one more object with that only we are going to get call okay so here you will in the fourth part you will you are going to write the query what you are going to do if you want to select something from the table okay you have to give it here okay otherwise you have you are going to update okay you can do it but you have to write within this see uh, in the table if you are going to get select something maybe it consists of many of the records so for that to uh, display all of the records from the table okay will use here while loop so it will just fetch each record one by one and and one more thing you have to remember here is in this code a uh, system dot out dot print ln so it works as like a print of in c programming languages it is the output statement uh, it's going to uh, it will yeah gives us the output and see here within the parenthesis we wrote uh, in this we kept the two rs dot get int of one okay see what are this one and two are this is of first attribute and this is of second attribute and suppose you gave uh, while creating the employee table if you gave the first attribute is uh, employee id so obviously it will be like integer only so the data type should be matched with this. okay if suppose if you gave here uh, in your data in your employee table suppose you gave the first attribute as employee name and if you are supposing to give here integer then it won't accept it will return as an error it will throw some error okay that is what be careful so according to the attributes type of the attributes we have to specify here the methods also get int and here get string okay uh, in the employee table if the second attribute is varchar or string then you type you have to write here rs dot get string see if, uh, if suppose employee table has more than two attributes suppose you gave like employee id employee name employee salary but in this if you have taken only these two then only the two attributes of the employee table it will return as a result okay we'll get only the two attribute values from the employee table and this is what uh, it it gives us the space in between the two values that's it 
So I will show you the entire code here. This already you know what is what it was just showing us. Yes. Yeah, this is it. So the entire code is this. Whenever we are going to create the class, okay, automatically the class will be gets open. Okay, uh, the SQL package we have to import here, and if we create the class, then we have this statement. No need to type it again, but we have to embed this SQL code in this. Okay, so then we have to add this driver class code. Okay, we have because we have to load it. Okay, and then if you type, then it will just connect it. And see here, you have to type here the uh, username and the password, and then we have to create a statement for the connection. Okay, for the connection object, we have to create a statement object also, and then here in the step four, we have to write the query, and then finally we have to close the connection. And remember the parentheses. How many of the like uh, sorry? How many of the curly braces that we have opened? You just you have to check from your side that that many. Curly braces that you are closing or not? Okay, otherwise again it will just throw us an error. So this is the simple code, but we have to uh, be careful because if we miss any of the statement, it will not give us the output. That is what. Definitely, you will get question on this in the mid examination. At least two marks. Anyhow, the normalization is very much important. Uh, that is the four. We have many of the normal forms, and uh, we have to solve the problems even. And from the fourth module onwards, we don't have like any of the SQL uh, uh, concepts. Okay, so everything is theory, but those are of problematic concepts. Ma'am, can you can you show the Eclipse ka interface? I just want to see if the one I downloaded is right. Yes, ma'am. Can you show the code in Eclipse, ma'am? Not understanding where to write it. Code may be late, but can you show Eclipse once, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. And uh, the Eclipse I downloaded it didn't give me uh, login like it didn't ask for any login creation or, or something like that. So I don't. So have you run it? I have not run it yet, but I'm like I wanted to see if the one I have is. Oh, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show my folder. So this is what uh, uh, I will share this. Some can so launch that, it. I yeah, want to see interface. See this is what. Can you able to see? Uh, mommy is still sharing the files. You're supposed to share the clips now. Change screen. Mm-hmm. Yes. It was already there. I have opened it already.
one thing i'll do uh, the, i i will upload this folder uh, into my google drive so that i will just share the link to you so you can download from that right will now you i that? got i got the same application one okay then no problem but i didn't get uh, you said in step 3 we except step 2 we have to connect no ma'am so that we, we have to just uh, put the code uh huh uh, no ma'am one of the one of the steps you said uh, username and password we have to enter to connect here uh that is we that is uh, dbms username password okay yeah okay so there's no username password for eclipse Okay, mom. Okay. No, because you said Oracle. We have to make and all that. No, no, that is for downloading purpose. I'm just saying. Okay, okay, mom. Yeah. I thought, but okay, fine, mom. Thank you. Manish. Yes, mom. Should I share the? Should I share my folder to you? Oh, mom, you can share. So I will share. Okay. Uh, but it was so much. It was uh, easy only. Uh, just go to the Oracle website and get it download. If not, then just go with uh, the link which I will provide. Wait a minute. Let me do it. it takes more time i think uh, for me for downloading uh, for java eclipse it took one and a half hour time for downloading only yeah ma'am yes Yes, Nalini. Sorry, ma'am. Can I share my screen once? Can you please verify it is correct or not? Okay. Sir, are you there? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Ma ma'am, is this the? Uh, see, you have to down. Uh, just check once. Is JDBC JAR file is existing in your system or not? And OJDBC fourteen dot JAR file also. I didn't download those. Ah, download it. Okay. Otherwise, uh, will not be okay. download. Is this the one? JDBC JAR file, ma. Okay. And uh, one more is OJDBC fourteen dot JAR. Ma'am, I couldn't find a link to JDBC JAR file. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. JDBC. Google like uh, JDBC file download from the Microsoft. You can download it. I think. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, ah, Nalini, Chappandi. Is there, ma'am? Yeah. Is this? Ah. Ma'am, opening new file, we should take Java. Java browser. Java browser. Slowly. Ah. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Uh, tell you the processor. Okay, ma'am. Okay, I'll show you here how to do it. Yeah, give give any of the project name. Not a problem. Yeah. JDB. Uh. Yeah, create. Okay. Have you clicked here? Yeah. 
I got this something. Go to the file and open the project. Open the file. In your project or, or open projects from the file system. So we import source. No, no. Close it. Mom, you can just click on create directly. No, no, like, not needed actually. Uh, go to the Eclipse platform. Eclipse. No, here it was showing huh? the first one. Mom, can I help? I, you have to close the whole application and launch it again. Nale. Okay. No, close this. Ma'am, should I create a new project again? Uh, see, let me first uh, do it from my side. Okay, you just observe and do next. Okay. Should I tell okay. Nalini to avoid the confusion? And yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me yes. uh, see while you're downloading a clip, uh, some zip file you are going to get uh, it will be it has some supported files also that will also be get installed you got this application directly nalini didn't you get uh, supported files ma'am like uh, i got a window in that there are many files like uh, j id for java developers id for phl developers okay ID. okay fine See, this is what, uh, how we are going to get create the new file is, at first we have to create the new project. Remember, I'm saying the step, uh, how to write a program, okay? So at first we have to create a Java project, new project, and then we have to create the class file. Okay, so whenever we create a class file, the editor will be gets opened here with that same class file. So within that we have to, in that class file, okay, we have to write the following code. Okay, this is not uh, 
see here this is not the project name this is the class name jdbc odbc see here i have created the class name that is jdbc odbc okay let me do first project jdbc i click on finish so whenever we have we have created okay the supported folders we can see here so and jre system library and this and on the source again we have to just right click on this Okay. So we have to even uh, uh, do the path also. We'll do it later. Okay. yes so and again class remember we have to create at first the new project and then we get the folder and the next step is click on the just do the right click on the source folder so that you can see the again you have to click on new and then you can see the number of options okay anyhow java project that you have created so now the next one is you have to create the class file so give the name here some again i'll give like ts11 jdbc right jdbc odbc okay just see here on java file i can see from the source folder so this is what that we get these two okay so now we have to um, we have to just put the code here that's it just execute this statement we have to at first import the package okay and then we have to see this is same for all the programs because the it is going to get connect with the database right so it will never get be changed the username and the password so all the statements are same so i'll just copy here what is the package here with the java project java project uh, with what name we have given so with that we got here one package called cs11 jdbc and then we have to import the uh, package scl pa uh, package so and then within that we have to this you have to put the code in the file nalini got it yes ma'am okay and uh, students are you uh, tried the first lab internal exercise week So today is Tuesday because all the sectional faculty they have already cut the first lab internal. So that is what only from three experiments already you you all have done right? 
वन टू एंड पीएल सो यू कैन एक्सिक्यूट सो टेनि the lab internal is for 20 marks see i am just uh, saying the evaluation lab so how we are going to evaluate for 100 course sir and uh, 20 marks for lab internal one and uh, yes one more 20 is for lab internal two so 30 20 20 70 and 30 marks uh, And uh, among thirty and ten marks for your record. So whatever uploading the assignments and all, you have to uh, again upload the final document for that ten. And the continuous evaluation is for twenty. Okay. So this is what the evaluation for the lab. So tell me, students, when will conduct the lab internal one? Is this uh, Friday is okay for you all. Awesome. Yes. Ma'am, if we have it this Friday, will we have uh, eclipse also a part of it? No. Oh, I'll not include this one. Then Friday. Because it takes see it takes uh, uh, so much time. Okay. And what what about if we have next week will eclipse be a part of it? No, because we don't have uh, this one is an experiment lab also. Okay. Hmm. This is the theory concept. So okay, right? So 59. I I think you should ask the CR ma'am. I don't know. Abhishek, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. uh on this friday i'll connect the one okay ma'am okay right okay See, don't worry within a single hour you cannot be able to even execute this i know okay that's why i'm not asking anybody to share your screen also uh see it's not possible because i have to uh send the marks to the course champion also okay already some of the faculty they have sent their marks their section uh, marks so that is what i'm going to conduct in this week okay students it's already uh, getting 10 o'clock we have to, i think you have to join for the next class thank you all and if you of this okay concept let me know i'll just say, i'll try to uh, give you even the links also to get it download or i will upload this folder into the google drive okay don't worry and stop sharing the screen and thank you all